हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर स्नेहा शेट्टी क्लिनिकल डायरेक्टर चीफ फर्टिलिटी स्पेशलिस्ट एट वृक्ष फर्टिलिटी एच एस आर ले आउट बेंगलुरु फाइब्रॉइड यूट्रिस इज वेरी कॉमन कंडीशन विच वी नॉर्मली एनकाउंटर इन पेशेंट्स विथ इनफर्टिलिटी और इन अ जनरल गायनेक ओ पी डी एस वेल सो फाइब्रॉइड्स आर नथिंग बट स्मॉल ग्रोथ लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन साइड द वॉल ऑफ द यूट्रिस सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन द लोकेशन डिपेंडिंग ऑन द साइज and also depending on the symptoms which it is causing to the patient we usually advise whether we have to give them medication to treat the fibroid or surgery is recommended or not so having fibroids doesn't mean that you will not be having a successful ivf like i said the size location and symptoms is also important if at all it's a very small fibroid which is there outside the uterus it may not affect your fertility at all you can go ahead and do your ivf easily if it is a big fibroid which is there in the wall of the uterus or which is pushing inside your uterus that means where we place the baby inside the cavity of the uterus then definitely a surgery is advised to remove such a fibroid and sometimes if it is a big fibroid which is causing problems like it is causing heavy bleeding or it's causing painful periods or it is causing infertility wherein you have repeated ivf failures then in such cases we usually advise to undergo surgery which is a very simple procedure nowadays daycare laparoscopic myomectomy surgeries are usually advised fibroids they do affect embryo implantation depending on the location if the fibroid is present inside the cavity of the uterus or it is dis starting the shape of the cavity then definitely it does play a very important role in implantation of the embryo as well and in such cases we usually do two things one is if it is just touching the cavity of the uterus or if there is a distance depending on how close it is towards the cavity of the uterus we can advise to give you certain medications in order to shrink the fibroid and then plan for embryo implantation or sometimes we may advise surgery like uh, laparoscopic myomectomy give rest for almost 2 to 3 months before planning the embryo transfer so routinely if we have been diagnosed to have a fibroid uterus we usually finish with the egg collection first and then before embryo transfer if the fibroid is pushing into the uterus cavity then we plan to do a surgery and remove the fibroid but otherwise if it is a very small fibroid or if it is a fibroid which is outside the uterus cavity or in the wall of the uterus but it is not distorting the shape of the cavity and then we do not recommend uh, to do a surgery so it is completely a very individualized answer to this question we cannot routinely say that every fibroid needs to undergo surgery before going in for an ivf